Welcome to the knowledge series of IT Patshala. In this video, we shall discuss the HTML module of our knowledge series. HTML is the main markup language for creating web pages and other information that can be displayed in a web browser. This HTML tutorial will help you master HTML. And mastering HTML and its many elements is critical for any type of web professional. So let's get started. What is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and it is most widely used language to write web pages. Technically, HTML is not a programming language but rather a markup language. It is a format that tells a computer how to display a web page. Hypertext refers to the way in which web pages are linked together and when you click a link in a web page you are using hypertext. Markup language describes how HTML works. With a markup language, you simply mark up a text document with tags that tell a web browser how to structure it to display. What is HTML file? An HTML file is a text file containing small markup tags. The markup tags tell the web browser how to display a web page on your computer screen. An HTML file must have a .htm or .html file extension. The .htm extension comes from the past when some of the commonly used software only allowed three letter extensions. It is perfectly safe to use either .html or .htm, but it is important to be consistent. Now try it with an example. Open your text editor and type the following text. Now save the file as mypage.html. Once you have saved the file, double click over it to open the file and observe what you see on your computer screen. HTML document structure. An HTML document starts with an opening HTML tag and ends with a closing HTML tag. These tags tell the browser that the entire document is composed in HTML. Inside these two tags, the document is split into two sections. The head, head elements, which contain information about the document, such as title of the document, author of the document, etc. Information inside these tags does not display outside the body elements which contain the real content of the document that you see on your screen. What are HTML tags? HTML tags are used to mark up HTML elements. HTML tags are surrounded by the two characters opening angular bracket and closing angular bracket. The surrounding characters are called angle brackets. HTML tags normally come in pairs like opening B tag and closing B tag. The first tag in a pair is the start tag, the second tag is the end tag. The text between the start and end tags is the element content. HTML tags are not case sensitive, so a lowercase b inside the angular brackets means the same as an uppercase b inside the angular brackets. Basic HTML tags the basic structure for all HTML documents is simple and should include the following minimum elements or tags. HTML, the main container for HTML pages. Head, the container for page header and information. Title, the container for the title of the page. Body, the container of the main body of the page. Now we shall discuss each of these tags one by one in details. Also, in this tutorial, you may find the terms element and tag used interchangeably. The HTML tag. HTML is the containing tag for the whole HTML document. Each HTML document should have an opening HTML tag and each document should end with a closing HTML tag. Following two tags appear as direct part of an HTML tag, head and body. As such, start and end HTML tags and close all the other HTML tags you use to describe the web pages. The head tag. Head is just a container tag for all other header elements. It should be the first thing to appear after the opening HTML tag. Each head tag should contain a title tag indicating the title of the document, although it may also contain any combination of the following elements in any order. The base tag, the object tag, the link tag, the style tag, the script tag, the meta tag. And please do not be worried if you have not heard about any of the tags that we just talked about. It won't hamper your progress in this lesson as we will be discussing these tags in details later. 
The following is the example of the usage of a head tag. The title tag. You should specify a title for every page that you write inside the title tag. This tag is a child of the head tag. Information under the title tag is used in several ways. It displays at the very top of a browser window. It is used as a default name when the page is bookmarked in internet browsers such as IE, Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. It is used by search engines to help index pages. Therefore, it is important to use a title that really describes the content of a site. The title tag should contain only the text for the title and it may not contain any other elements. Here is the example of using a title tag. The body tag. The body tag appears under the head tag and contains the part of the web page that you actually see in the main browser window, which is sometimes referred to as body content. A body tag may contain anything from a couple of paragraphs under a heading to more complicated layouts containing forms and tables. Most of what you will be learning in this and the following chapters will be written between the opening body tag and closing body tag. Here is an example showing the usage of body tag. First part of our HTML module ends here. In this video, we discuss the basic tags of hypertext markup language or HTML. In the next video in this series, we will explore the advanced HTML tags and their usage.